The F-5 Tiger II. The Navy began using the F-5 at Top Gun in the 1970s as part of the school's dissimilar air combat curriculum. This workhorse is still used to teach air combat technique and is an admirable simulator of the mid-range Russian MiGs. The F-14 Tomcat. Primarily used to protect the carrier, pairs of Tomcats are a basic formation for interception. Weapon systems include the Sparrow, Sidewinder, Phoenix, and a 20 millimeter cannon. It is considered the Navy's premier fleet interceptor. The F-16 Fighting Falcon. Though not designed to operate from aircraft carriers, the Falcon is used in adversary training at Top Gun. The Navy has found the Falcon to be an ideal vehicle for dissimilar combat training. The F-A-18 Hornet. The most versatile striker in Navy history. The Hornet has the first of the modern cockpits, which features controls on the throttle and stick. Large display screens have replaced analog instruments. AV-8B Harrier. Noted for its payload capacity, the Harrier can carry more than 13,000 pounds of ordnance. With its Hughes radar, it's an excellent night attacker. The A-6 Intruder. Few aircraft can match the intruder's ability to find and attack targets in bad weather. The intruder can deliver heavier bomb loads and carry them further than any other carrier-based platform. The EA-6B Prowler. The Prowler is responsible for disrupting enemy radar networks. Jamming signals emit from the bulbous fairing at the top of its vertical stabilizer. It can also carry the AGM-88A Harm, an anti-radar missile. SH-60B Seahawk. The Seahawk can detect surface craft and submarines in all weather conditions. Secondary missions include search and rescue, medical evacuation, and fleet support. The AN-12 Cub. Used to drop troops and supplies, this Russian transport has been refitted for electronic intelligence and ECM roles. The B-52 Stratofortress. The longest serving plane in U.S. Air Force history, the B-52 was designed for transpolar warfare with the former Soviet Union. Today, this strategic bomber has both nuclear and conventional duties. The E-2C Hawkeye. The Hawkeye's principal mission is to spot enemy aircraft approaching the carrier and to vector fighters to intercept. Its giant radome houses radar and IFF antenna. The S-3 Viking. The anti-submarine squadron of each carrier flies the S-3 Viking, which is employed for outer zone defense. The Viking can hunt subs and has kill capability in the form of torpedoes, mines, and harpoon missiles. The MiG-21 Fishbed. Its horizontal tail enhances combat maneuverability and permits much slower flight. Tough and reliable in harsh environments, the MiG-21 is easy and cheap to operate. The MiG-23 Flogger. The MiG-23 is the backbone of the Russian Air Force. This aircraft is also in widespread service around the world. Like the F-14 Tomcat, the MiG-23 wears variable sweep wings to increase stability and low speed maneuvering. MiG-25 Foxbat. Although not very maneuverable, the MiG-25 is the fastest Russian aircraft designed for interception and reconnaissance. MiG-27. The MiG-27 is a ground attack version of the MiG-23. While sharing the essential characteristics of a 23, the MiG-27 wears a multi-barreled gun and can carry over 6,000 pounds of bombs. The Su-27 Flanker. This Russian aircraft demonstrates incredible agility, performance, and range. Following the end of the Cold War, the Russian Republic chose the Su-27 as its cornerstone for tactical aircraft in the 21st century. The Mirage 2000C, a multi-role fighter used for low-level penetration, 
The Mirage 2000 can also perform intelligence and offensive ECM roles. The MiG-29 Fulcrum, possibly the world's most maneuverable fighter. The MiG-29 can reach speeds of Mach 2. It is equipped with a powerful pulse Doppler radar and modern air-to-air -air missiles. MI-24 Hind. Designed to deliver combat squads into battle, the MI-24 can clear its own path with a variety of ordnance carried under its auxiliary wings. The Bear has incredible range, performance, and longevity. It has been in production for more than 35 years and still serves in many of the former Soviet bloc nations. Duties include naval reconnaissance and anti-ship strikes. Tu-26 Backfire. This Russian strategic and tactical bomber can carry two nuclear missiles and up to 12 conventional bombs. Yak-38 Forger. The Russian equivalent of the British Sea Harrier. The Yak-38 can dogfight, but performs best in reconnaissance and strike roles. H-6 Badger. The Chinese version of the Russian Badger. The H-6 represents China's strategic bombing force and is a vital marine striker. It can carry cruise missiles, as well as nuclear and conventional bombs. Marine Frigate, Coney class. The Coney is a coastal anti-sub ship built specifically for foreign transfer. Its submarine sensors and weapons are intended for shallow depths. The ship is limited in speed and range. Aircraft carrier, Forrestal class. In addition to its air wing, the Forrestal class ships have considerable defenses. Two Sea Sparrow launchers address mid-range threats, while three phalanx guns shoot depleted uranium at targets in close. Cruiser Ticonderoga class. This guided missile cruiser was designed to be the flagship for a battle group. Its combat information center accepts and coordinates data from other ships and aircraft in the group. Frigate, Oliver Hazard Perry class. In the carrier battle group, the Perry class frigate is assigned to protect the carrier. It does have anti-aircraft capabilities. This anti-submarine ship is the smallest in any modern navy. Used by the Russians, it carries missiles, guns, and two sonars, one mounted on the hull, the other a dipping sonar on the transom. AIM 7M Sparrow, a semi-active radar homing missile, the Sparrow carries a high explosive blast fragmentation warhead in front of the wing. This design makes room for a larger motor, thus improving its range. AIM 9M Sidewinder, the most successful air-to-air -air missile in the world. This model outperforms previous Sidewinders in maneuverability, seeker sensitivity, target tracking, and lethality. AIM 120 AMRAM. Its active radar allows the launching aircraft to engage several targets and withdraw before the missiles reach their targets. AIM-54 Phoenix. Only carried by the F-14 Tomcat, the Phoenix boasts a range of 100 miles. The Tomcat's AWG-9 radar can track a separate target for up to six of these missiles under wing. Maximum speed is approximately Mach 5. AA-2 Atoll. Carried by most Russian aircraft, the Atoll is a copy of the Sidewinder. These short-range IR-guided missiles are generally carried in pairs to improve chances of a hit. AA-9 AMOS. A long-range standoff missile. The AMOS uses semi-active radar to get close to the target, then switches to its onboard active radar. AA-10 Alamo. Developed under the Soviets, the Alamo is part of the next generation of advanced air-to-air -air missiles. There are two versions of the Alamo, one with an all-aspect heat-seeking tracker and another with a semi-active radar guidance system. AA-11 Archer. This short-legged missile is rarely effective at ranges over five miles. 
but the Archer is still considered the most advanced heat seeker in the Russian arsenal. AGM-84 Harpoon. The Harpoon is a 1,200-pound anti-ship missile which has been operational in the U.S. Navy since the 1970s. It can be launched from ships and submarines as well as aircraft. The AM-39 Exocet. The Exocet is a medium-range anti-ship missile that poses a considerable threat to American military vessels. AS-15 Kent. Designed for launch at low altitudes, this cruise missile can reach a maximum speed of 0.9 Mach with a range in excess of 700 miles. MK-46 Mod 1 Torpedo. Carried by the S-3 Viking, the MK-46 is the most important of the lightweight anti-sub torpedoes in the U.S. Navy. SAN-4. Similar to the land-based SA-8, the SAN-4 is the short-range surface-to-air missile of choice in the Russian Navy. The AGM-88A Harm, carried by a variety of aircraft. The Harm is a fast air-to-surface missile designed to take out SAM radars. The F-5 Tiger II. The Navy began using the F-5...